Welcome back to We're Having Fun. I am Mark, and Chris is over there. I am. Hey. Hey. What's up, girl? What's up? How's it going? <laughs> ah, it's going all right. Good. It is the week before our live episode, which by live episode, I mean we'll be alive in the same room. <laughs> I was going to say, you can't, you can't call it live. We're not actually going to be live. <laughs> We're just going to be, yeah. <laughs> yes. It'll be live at recording for us. Sure. So it's going to be <laughs> exciting. So uh, this week, a um, bit of a, a kerfuffle. Yes. <laughs> we, <laughs> I was going to say, are we going to, are we going to explain this? <laughs> sure. Let's do we it. We were yeah. originally going to be doing Back to the Future, mm-hmm. last minute choice. And we were like, oh yeah, all right, that sounds good. Arranged all this stuff to get ready for it. You had a good idea to pick out snacks and stuff. And then uh, Back to the Future left every streaming place <laughs> and <laughs> we couldn't get it. So, yeah. Never yeah, we mind. Had, we had talked about it, doing it earlier, like a few episodes ago. Uh-huh. And when you looked for it then, it was streaming. Yep. And we were like, well, let's do this other thing instead. And so we did. And then when we came back to it, I was like, okay, this is, <laughs> we're going to do it this time. It's going to be yeah. great. I'm excited. No I'm ready issues. to watch it. I went, I found like a drink and a uh-huh. snack for us. One yep. from 1955, one from 1985. I was like, this is going to be great. Uh-huh. Had it. Everything was ready. And then yesterday when we decided, okay, it's time to sit down and watch the movie. <laughs> the movie wasn't there. <laughs> it was gone. So, Everywhere. So, yeah, we had to um, make a quick change of plans. Mm-hmm. And choose We're something adaptable. else. Um, something else that would kind of fit the theme of at least one of the snacks that we had. Yeah. So that we didn't have to go out last minute and buy different things. Yep. Because it was already like, it was already like nine (laughs) (laughs) o'clock. Yeah, we were like, uh, we gotta just get this done. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to spend any more money on food and stuff, so we'll make it work. Yes. And we did. So we found that 1985, we found a couple movies, and we settled on Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Yes. Um, (laughs) We were, (laughs) oh, do we want to (laughs) say... We actually, we had three that we had narrowed it down to, and we did a number, <laughs> a random number generator, and it chose uh-huh. a different one, and we're like, okay, perfect. Wait a minute, is this one streaming on anything? <laughs> it yes. wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> I could have sworn I'd seen it on hand. something, but apparently, no. Yeah. Probably also Netflix. <laughs> so It was gone. So we knew that the other two were, though, because we had actually checked them. Yeah. So. And yeah, then we did a random choice again and it landed on peewee's big adventure so Mm -hmm. there we go that's how we ended up choosing this one (laughs) that is the backstory of this episode oh boy and you you're a fan of this movie correct yes that's good like when did you first see it do you think i okay before we start before Uh (laughs) the way you said that you're a fan of this movie it makes Uh it sound like you hate this movie do you hate this movie I don't hate this movie. Okay. I this movie's fine. I don't like Pee Wee Herman though. Okay. I never have liked Pee Wee Herman. I didn't like him as a kid. Oh no. He <laughs> annoys me. Um but there's there's a lot of good things in this movie which where I don't dislike this movie at all. Okay. Um and then I did I had a bad relationship and like this was one of her favorite movies. And that also kind of put a bit of a bit of a stink on it. So, uh, you know, this was an uphill battle for this movie, but uh, there, it was co-written by Phil Hartman. Like, it was. how bad could it be? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> well, funny, funny that you should have an ex that uh, liked this movie a lot because <laughs> same. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ex-husband's favorite movie. Oh, one okay. of his favorite movies, but I also really <laughs> liked it, so it was something that we enjoyed together. Yeah. But he was a big, he's a big Pee Wee Herman fan. He has, like, <laughs> he has, like, a poster, like, 
<laughs> Pee Wee uh-huh. Herman's face, and uh-huh. yeah, he's he's a big fan. And um, yeah, I was not as big on Pee Wee. I mean, I I've always liked this movie. Uh huh. But other than that, like he grew up watching Pee Wee's Playhouse and everything, and I never yeah. really watched it as far as I can remember. Yeah, I watched so this it was, some, but man, it was not for me. Yeah, so this was kind of like pretty much the only Pee Wee thing that I was into. I did yeah. watch um, Big Top Pee Wee that came out like after it. Uh huh. Yeah. And then, you know, there's a new one, Pee Wee's Big Holiday, that is on like Netflix or whatever. Oh, did that come out? I couldn't remember if that ever came out. Yeah, it's been out for several okay. years. <laughs> Um, nice. So yeah, I watched that also. Okay. But, um, yeah, I, I really liked this when I was little. Uh-huh. It scared me in several places, but <laughs> it's a, than, there's a lot of little scary yeah. parts in there. I mean, it is Tim Burton, so what do you expect? Yeah, makes sense. But it has uh, a lot of stuff that I, I remember very fondly, and um, a lot of yeah jokes and stuff that I remember and liked as a kid, and still like them today. So I was yeah. I was laughing along. As I watched it yesterday, oh, you probably good. weren't laughing quite as much as I was. <laughs> there was. Yeah, probably not. But there was there was some good stuff in there. Um, the my ex, she had a Pee Wee Herman doll mm-hmm. with the thing you pull back and it mm-hmm. says stuff. But mm-hmm. the voice thing was so messed up oh, to where it sounded like a demon. <laughs> basically, yeah, that happens when they get old. <laughs> um, yeah, so it kind of fit the movie theme a little. I'm- I'm pretty sure my ex has one of those, and also my grandmother has one of those. Because my oh. grandmother has a lot of dolls. Wow. Um, you didn't see the doll rooms when... <laughs> I did not. I, you know, when it was too to early in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, there's a doll. Okay, so when I sleep, when I, like, sleep there, when I uh-huh. have to spend the night there, I have to, first of all, share a bed with my mother, because she uh-huh. lives there. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's in a room that has a bunch of dolls, and I have to sleep on the side with all the dolls, and they stare at me through the <laughs> night, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. It's, yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> I guess I could sleep on the couch, but if I slept on the couch, there are dolls in that room also. So yeah, no matter where scared. I sleep, there are going to be dolls staring at me. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Unless that's, I slept like in that's fun. the shower or something. Yeah, I mean, depends on the night. Yeah, but then, of course, the dog would probably come in there and, like, pee on me or something in the middle of the night. (laughs) Yeah, but it would be so cute doing it. No. That dog is so cute. He's adorable, but I don't want him to pee on me. (laughs) Uh, I guess that's fair. (laughs) You don't want him to pee-wee on you. Anyway, that's the movie we're doing today. (laughs) (laughs) sorry we got a bit sidetracked it's fine it's fine (laughs) um i will say i think i like the latter half of this movie better than the first half um yeah just because he's he's kind of a pretty kind of an asshole (laughs) in the beginning like yeah in like every part of his life the girl that likes him, he, he sucks to her. <laughs> um, everybody else, he's just... He's, he, uh, and his... He's very... When was this? This was 85, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, using all that, I know you are, but what am I? And mm-hmm. just all the stuff I remember the annoying kid doing <laughs> when I was growing mm-hmm. up. So it's like, yeah. oh, this guy... Yeah, I like it pretty much everything after the point where he goes to the psychic and she says where his bike is and he sets yeah. off on his adventure. Yeah. The stuff before that, I mean, there are some parts of the stuff before that that I like, but yeah. Yeah, most of it's like after that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Once it really he, starts going. He wastes a lot of food. Like, he's got that Rube oh Goldberg machine that does all yeah. that, which is, I always like a good Rube Goldberg machine. Um, but it makes a pan, like multiple pancakes. He only gets mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, most of them ba- end up on the ceiling anyway. So that's true. <laughs> <laughs> How did he end up with one that didn't? I don't know. And it's got bacon and eggs, mm-hmm. and he pours Mr. T cereal on it. Oh, and it has and like a strawberry nose, I think. And yeah. he makes it talk to him. So it's like, good morning, Pee Wee. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yep. yes, he does. Mm-hmm. 
Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I am regretting this so much right now. No, <laughs> like, I don't regret this movie way too many times, okay? <laughs> no, no, no. Um. Uh, and he eats like three pieces of Mr. T cereal and then he's mm-hmm. done. Yep, he and then he, he he eats it and he like he chews it a lot too. He chews it a he lot does. and then he wipes his mouth and he's like, "Okay, there we go. Breakfast is over." <laughs> it's like, dude, yeah. what? It was a beautiful breakfast. It was, and you ate three and, pieces. Like he picked the worst part to eat. Like I'm sure Mr. Teaser was fine. I'm sure, but it, was. It, it looked like <laughs> maybe just like Captain Crunch in tea mm-hmm. form. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it, there was so much better stuff on there than that. <laughs> But, and he had like the know. the eggs were like perfectly round. Mm-hmm. They were good looking eggs. Mm-hmm. Good looking bacon. But that bacon looked superb. It looked very yep. crispy. It's like the perfect Dead. bacon. Why? Yep. <laughs> Why would you not eat know. that bacon? I uh, don't know. Uh I'm also surprised that his dog Spreck, Speck. the little guy Speck, sorry. Uh he's a very cute dog. Very he cute. gets a huge bowl of food in mm-hmm. the morning. But apparently he's eating it every day because it, it's full. Yep. It, it's mm-hmm. filled up every time. Yeah, it was empty so, in the morning. So I don't know how that dog is like going through that <laughs> food every day and not just like a hundred pounds. But you know, I don't know. Maybe he runs a lot. Um, yeah. So that's his morning. He has every like toy. He's also. It always seemed like like there was this kid. That lived down the street from me for like, it felt like for a couple months, and my parents like made us play with him once because mm-hmm. he was very annoying. I don't think he had many friends, which I hope he's doing well now. I feel kind of bad now, but at the time it was like, oh god, I don't want to play with this kid. But he had a skip it, you know, a, you mm-hmm. remember skip it? Yep, sure do. And it always seems like those annoying kids always had every toy possible <laughs> in the world. So he brought his skip it over and he made us watch him play with his skip it. And we didn't play with the skip it, just him. And that's that's what I feel like Pee Wee Arman is to me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's that kid. And that's why I don't like him much. But yeah, so he has like Mr. Potato Heads and mm-hmm. I can't even remember everything he has. He's got everything. Okay, so um, I, I wrote down, like, his morning routine. Mm-hmm. So, okay, he wakes up, turns on a record player, mm-hmm. which starts basically all of the all of the stuff, all of the... Yeah. It doesn't start the breakfast stuff. I think that's something else. Or maybe it is, is it? the breakfast. I can't remember. I think, it, I think it goes through everything. Maybe it is. Maybe yeah. it is. So he puts on his bunny slippers. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love of bunny course. slippers. Very cute. Um, he lifts weights and it's like the one pound weights. Basically he lifts Mm -hmm. them once and that is his exercise for the day. (laughs) Yeah. And he has a very hard time doing it. Mm -hmm. Uh, he (laughs) plays with some toys, of course. Uh Uh-huh. Then he slides down his fire pole. Right. Now that's pretty sweet. (laughs) I wouldn't mind having one of those. Of course I don't live on in like an apartment that has two floors, but if I did, sliding down a fire pole would be pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So they're all right. Uh, he says hello to Spec, of course. Of course. Um, he makes his breakfast or, you know, gets gets all the breakfast started. Uh, uh-huh. Brushes his teeth. He puts tape on his face. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Apparently this yeah. is part of the morning routine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's what you do. Mm-hmm. And then he um, takes his weight and his fortune. And his weight is 98 pounds. Uh huh. He's a ninety-eight pound weakling. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Which was perfect. Yeah. Oh goodness. Makes so sense. yeah, that was that's his morning routine. Then of course he sits down and he eats. Um, uh uh-huh. A couple of things about the breakfast that we haven't covered. Um, was that pancake batter just sitting there overnight? Probably. That's disgusting. <laughs> like, there's a lot of a lot of issues. Also, He's... he has a he has a thing that squeezes oranges for orange juice. That was not an orange. Yeah, I don't. That was a sponge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that's that was disgusting. An sponge. <laughs> that was gross. Uh, was there? I, I didn't. Re- I don't remember seeing bacon getting taken out. Was that out? Was he like pulling a Michael Scott? Um, oh, I don't just know. Having, he wants to have delicious bacon in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember seeing the bacon. I remember seeing like he had one of those little bird things to open the eggs. 
Uh huh. And the egg cracks like perfectly, like perfectly straight line. Yeah. Um, and he had I did I didn't make note of it, but um, he had this like zip line kind of thing for his toast, and I was just sitting mm-hmm. there going, "That toast is gonna rip before it gets to the oh toaster. for sure." Because <laughs> yeah. anytime you try to like hold a bread like that, just with your regular fingers. Mm-hmm. That's that's gonna rip apart. That's <laughs> true, <Sure. laughs> and that's like a mechanical thing, so it's probably gripping too hard. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna have some ripped bread. Probably. It's probably gonna fall onto the ground before it can get to the toaster. But anyway. Yeah, he's not gonna eat it anyway. Who that's cares? true. Was did he even have the toast on? <laughs> no, he anywhere just, near his plate. He spent like well, he spent like twenty minutes buttering it. Oh, yeah, he did butter it with a huge knife. Huge knife. And, and then, then he licked the, the, butter, the off. butter off the knife, which is disgusting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sat there and put butter on the toast and then didn't even eat it. Oh, my God. Yeah. So unnecessary. He's the worst. I mean, that's the joke, but, you know. <laughs> it is, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that was his morning routine. Uh-huh. And he, and he watered the grass, mm-hmm. which involves just slinging water everywhere. He's just so wasteful. <laughs> He's okay. Just, such a so, wasteful person. So that thing, I don't know if, because I didn't, I didn't look up like exactly what it was, but it looks like Willie the water bug, which is you know a thing, a kid's toy from like the eighties. Oh that yeah, does that? Those things are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, because you're out there. About if those. you get too close to that thing, I mean, there's like I looked this up. There's actually a picture of, um, you can find a picture of. Willie the water bug and the box that it came in. And on the box, it shows this kid just getting slapped with those <laughs> tentacle things. And yeah, it would do that. It would leave like welts all over you. Yeah. But, you know, we, we accepted getting injured with our fun back then. It's true. I mean, they we had, were kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it was probably the same people who came up with lawn darts. Yeah, probably which, so. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you have that? I don't That's gonna know. take someone's eye out. <laughs> There's so many, so many <laughs> better ways to do that. Oh that man, won't impale you. But you know, yep. I don't know. I'm not so, a toy maker. Yeah. So yeah, instead of having like regular sprinkle sprinklers, he has a Willy the water bug. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> At least he got as far away from it as he possibly could as soon as it started. Yeah, and he warned his neighbor. That was yeah, he did. That was nice of him that to do nice. that. So good for you for being a somewhat <laughs> decent person. And I mean, obviously, he's not only watering his lawn, but he's probably watering the neighbor's lawn too. <laughs> yes, and the street. <laughs> yeah, and just and everything. everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, then he heads into town to the mall. Oh wait! Before he goes to the mall. Oh, is there more? oh, he's got to get his bike out. He's got to get his bike out. So he yeah. has like this huge, he's got like this like security system, basically, uh-huh. where he has like a, a passcode or whatever. And then he also looks around to make sure no one is watching Yeah, and pulls down a certain branch on his tree, which opens off like the hedge <laughs> and there's his bike and he pulls it out and he like loves on it for a while, which was kind of creepy because yeah. he likes his bike bike a little too much yeah he likes it honest. more than the girl that is in love with him yeah so he pulls the bike out he is about to go into town when francis buxton shows up oh, francis francis buxton the draco malfoy of the movie because you know <laughs> he is, he is gonna be like i'm going to tell my father about this yeah so it's like it's- draco and uh the cousin What's yeah his name? and dudley Dudley, it, a roll rolled yeah. up in one. Exactly. Yeah. So Francis is like, hey, Pee Wee, it's my birthday. And the one thing I want for my birthday is your bike. And of course, Pee Wee's like, it's not for sale. Yeah. And then, of course, they start doing the little, I know you are, but one of my thing, which is very yeah, annoying. That was awful. Yeah. <laughs> I did like when he was he was listening to reason. That was that was a good joke. Oh, <laughs> Shh, I'm listening to, to reason. reason. <laughs> mm, yeah. It's not bad. No, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> so anyway, um, he basically is like, no, you can't have my bike and I'm going to go into town. So he leaves. He goes, uh-huh. 
rides toward town. He sees he sees these BMX kids like doing bike tricks in the park. The tricks, yep. And so he has to do him also. Yeah, because he's like, okay, so cool. I got to be like these cool kids. I probably (laughs) tried to do these bike tricks when I was little. (laughs) Pretty sure I did try to do them. Yeah, Um, and. At least for me, it went better than it did for him because he ends up crashing his bike. <laughs> I, I was never good at bike tricks. I could ride just fine, but I couldn't like do no hands or anything like that. Well, so. I mean, the, the ones that he does are just, you know, he puts his legs out to the yeah. side. And that's basically it. And then, of course, when he starts like trying to turn all the way around on the seat. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, of course you're going to. <laughs> you got wrecked that way. Yeah, anyway. most likely. So yeah. <laughs> then he goes to the mall. Yeah, and illegally locks up his bike around mm-hmm. a clown thing. Yes, which is creepy. That clown thing, especially later in the movie when it shows it, gave me yeah. nightmares. I'm sure because <laughs> that is a big nope. I'm not even really scared of clowns, but that clown. Yeah, me I neither. could see why someone would be afraid of clowns because mm-hmm. of this movie. Yeah. Because there are two, like, clown instances. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this is true. the first one. Yeah. And he, he has that long chain, wraps the bike up, like, a ton, mm-hmm. but only puts it around the clown, like, twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not, it's completely useless. He's hurting the bike more than anything. Yeah. So, useless. And then when it gets stolen, there's, like, links all over the ground. It's so, like, mm-hmm. you could have just cut, like, one thing and been done. Yeah, pretty much. But, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of issues with that. <laughs> <laughs> but before he gets stolen, he goes to the magic store. Yes. Perves on a lady with his x-ray glasses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because, I mean, she keeps, like, he keeps doing little, he's got, like, all these little gags, and he keeps playing around uh-huh. with them, and she keeps kind of looking over, and then he does the x-ray specs, and it's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, okay. Pee-wee, just quit. Just stop it. Yeah, it was uh, foreshadowing his later arrest <laughs> stuff that we won't get into. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so, I mean, technically that's not what he got arrested for, but okay. I know. It was... <laughs> It was, uh, I mean, yeah. People get it wrong all the time, and it's like... <laughs> well, it, it was the theater thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <sighs> okay, so um, <laughs> so the shop owner brings out, like, a box of new tricks, or new things uh-huh. that he's gotten in, and Pee-wee takes three of them, because some of them yep. he's like, eh, I don't really care about that. So yeah, what takes... are you going to do with that huge head? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's like shrunken head, regular head, giant head. <laughs> uh, so he takes three of them. He takes the trick gum. Uh huh. He takes the headlight glasses. Yep. And he takes a boomerang bow tie after uh-huh. he finds out that, of course, it comes in red. Of course. And two of those come in later, but the boomerang bow tie never does. And it kind of makes me yeah. wonder if there was like a um, a deleted scene or something with yeah, the, bo- with the boomerang bow tie. Yeah, surely. Because I mean, you would think so. Uh, it would have been it would have been fun. I don't mm-hmm. know what he would have used it for, but me either. That was the one I was most looking forward to seeing him use. <laughs> it did not happen. Nope. Then he goes to the bike store mm-hmm. where he meets uh, Dottie. Yes, I love Dottie. Dottie is great. Dottie is She's... the best thing about this movie. Yeah, and he's the worst to her. Oh, she does. He she is. deserves so much better. Yeah. It, She's it's very adorable. True. She's sweet. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Although it would be weird, like, to go out with her and just hear the voice of Tommy Pickles all the time <laughs> from her <Rugrats. laughs> True. <laughs> so, you know, but he doesn't know that. Exactly. So, This was yeah. before Tommy Pickles, you know? Yeah, yeah. The TP before Tommy Pickles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's a jerk. Then he goes outside. Oh, he gets that horn that's mm-hmm. ridiculously loud. Yes. Which just makes, you know, I would, he just... Uh, 
if I lived in this town and he was a part of it, I would just hate him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Riding around with his horn that's way too loud. Uh, anyway, uh, his bike gets stolen. Yes. He's very distraught. Yes. He's Ask so it. distraught that he goes into Bikerama <laughs> and honks the horn, yelling, mm-hmm. die! <laughs> and passes out and he comes to the police are there not the police the uh paramedics or whatever yeah but oh, there's a police officer and the police too. yeah the police were there too because he was reporting uh-huh. or he, they said that they couldn't really do anything about his bike being stolen but then he goes to the police again later anyway because uh-huh. he's talking to one of the uh, to the police officer and she's like so what makes you think soviets were involved <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke that was i like that <laughs> So as she's talking to him about the bike and is, is, do you have any enemies? Is there anybody that would have wanted to steal it? He realizes Francis. Because mm-hmm. Francis obviously wanted that bike. So he yep. goes to Francis's house, which is a really nice house. I really like Francis's house. It is a nice house. With like the ivy covering it and everything. It's very yeah. pretty. Um, so he gets in there. Um, the butler, of course, doesn't want to let him in, but he sneaks through. Yeah. And I, uh, I don't know how he pulled it off, but he I did. don't either. <laughs> it doesn't explain it. But he somehow gets in there. Maybe he climbs in through a window or something. I don't know. Maybe. But, but he gets in there and he gets up to where Francis is taking a bath in this pool sized bath. And I wanted that so much when I was young. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought it was so cool. It, it I mean, it, it would be nice to just have this big thing. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's maybe a little excessive. Yeah, <laughs> Unless is. you're bathing with like 10 people. Yeah, but why would you be bathing with that many people? <laughs> I, I want to bathe by myself uh, and that's it. Well, I mean, it depends on your day. Which mm. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, anyway. What the party was, was before. <laughs> he was bathing in swim trunks anyway, so... That's true. He can't even, like, bathe in his... Anyway, what? I mean, <laughs> I'm, sure he, I'm sure he could, you know, bathe without, but it's a movie and nobody wants I to see I don't think so. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, poor Francis. Because it did show, like, underwater and everything. And <laughs> <laughs> Them wrestling. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Would have um, been a real Borat scene. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, I did like all of his toys and everything, though. I, yeah, he I, had like battleships and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I always wished I had. I I used to take toys into the bath all the time. Probably oh, toys I, I shouldn't have too. taken into the bath. We had um these like foam blocks, kind of okay, that you could like get wet and kind of stick on the wall and stuff and like make stuff. And then one day they were gone, and I was so sad. I think my mom like gave them away or something, oh, no. or sold them maybe, which was fine. I was probably too old for them at that point anyway. But I was like, man, that would have been fun to play with today. But now they're gone. <laughs> so um, I would just have like cars, and my grandmother had like a diver that you could wind up and put in there, mm-hmm. and you would swim around. That was cool. But yeah, I would I, I would have liked all those things he had. Let's see. I I mean, I would play with toys in the bath, too. I had some kind of... It was like a bubble bath. Um, like a... It, ha- it contained bubble bath, I think. but I, mm-hmm. Or something like that. I can't remember. It was like in the shape of a dog. <laughs> That's all I remember about it. Okay. Um, but also, um, when the Little Mermaid came out, and they had like the Happy Meal toys... I had uh-huh. most of those, and so I would play with those in the bath because it worked out really well because, you know, yeah. um, I had Prince Eric who was in a boat, so he uh-huh. would be above I had the that. water. I and had then that. I, and then I had Ariel who I would uh-huh. like, swim below the water, and of course, uh-huh. like, Sebastian could go either way, and you had and Flounder. Ursula and was I there. Think, I Didn't think Flounder, Flounder, like, spit water? Yes, I was about yeah. to say that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that was those were, like, perfect for um, bath time. What did Ursula playing. do? I don't remember Ursula. I don't know if I had the Ursula one, we but I Ursula. remember I had all the others. Sebastian didn't do anything. Yeah, he was just a crab. Which, I think the only one that really did anything that was I remember Flounder? was Flounder. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Oh, oh, Ursula had a suction cup on the back. Oh, okay. You could suction her to stuff. That's right. Okay. Well, see, that would have been perfect because you could suction her to the side of the bathtub. Mm-hmm. Yep. And anyway, so yeah, I do remember playing with like stuff like that. 
Yeah. Yeah, those were they were all like plastic and stuff. They were perfect mm-hmm. toys to have in the bath. They were. And my Ninja Turtles also take those too. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had Hot Wheels that would change color in hot and cold. Ooh. And that was fun. Yeah, those were fun. I f- feel like I had one that did that. Yeah. And I also had times. one that which they weren't mine, they were my brothers, but um I, there was one that um it had like a flipping mechanism kind of on the front of it. So oh, yeah. like, you could crash it into something and it would uh-huh. make it when it hit impacted whatever you uh-huh. were crashing it into, it would flip over and it would look like it had been wrecked. But yep. then you could, you know, I had one right of those back. Too. Oh, I yep. loved that one. I used to wreck it all the time. <laughs> those were cool. Yeah. It was so fun. <laughs> yep. And I, I had one that did that and one that would like the hood would fly up. Yeah, wrecked it, and and maybe the maybe the trunk also. Yeah, those so are weird, fun. weird thing. Like just here's car wrecks. You know, they're fun, I guess. Yeah, go, well, go out there and wreck a car. Yeah, well, I mean, I always liked stuff like that flipped kind of like that because mm-hmm. I remember when um, I was a little bit older than I should have been, but I was <laughs> kind of babysitting. Yeah, um, the two boys that I babysat, they were um, they had. A bunch of they had Ninja Turtles, of course, mm-hmm. and they had uh, Power Rangers, and they had the Power Rangers like the original five, six, however many there were, that mm-hmm. um, their heads flipped, so you would have oh yeah, like their normal features, but then you could flip them and it would have their helmets on. Uh huh. So I always liked those. Yeah. Even though they made me play the Pink Ranger, of course. The Yellow Ranger, too, but I didn't mind playing the Yellow Ranger. It was just, I hate pink so like much. Pink. <laughs> and I always got stuck with pink stuff, and I'm like, why? Yeah. You were a girl. That's how yep. it was. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, what were we doing? <laughs> oh, it's out of the bathtub. Yep. Yeah. Gives them the gum, which is yes. where we get to see the gum. So we get to see and the trick gum. So one of the trick gums, I guess the fruit flavored is like... Spicy. Spicy or something. Yeah. And then the other one is turns like... <laughs> turns <laughs> turns her mouth black. black. It's like yeah. an ink kind of thing in it. Yeah, that was Who gross. Knows? But yeah, that was, that was real gross. <laughs> but we did get to see what the trick gum did. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. I did have a trick gum kind of thing when I was little also. It wasn't mm-hmm. like that. It wasn't actual gum that you would chew. Yep. It was th- just the package. Uh huh. So it, it looked trap? like yes. Yes. So it would like spring. Yep. And like clip your finger or whatever. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep, I had one of those. <laughs> we had that too. I think we shopped at the same store. <laughs> Even though it was, you know, miles and miles away. <laughs> but sure. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, and he goes to the psychic and tells him that it's in the basement of the Alamo if he wants to find his bike. And miraculously, it ends up over there, pretty much. <laughs> well, also, he find, he has, like, the big... Um, I think it's before... No, maybe it is after he talks to to um, Francis. He has, like, the in the basement of his house or whatever... He has the big meeting. Oh, with the big everybody. meeting. Yeah. Where, he's <laughs> where he a, has like all the evidence. It's like, oh my God. Where he's still a jerk. <laughs> Just <laughs> leave us alone. <laughs> but yeah, he goes to Madame Ruby's and she's mm-hmm. like, oh, he's like, before I pay you, why am I here? And she's like, you're here because you want something. She's like, yes. Oh my gosh. Here's <laughs> the money. It. So she like, she looks through his wallet and sees the picture mm-hmm. of him with the bike and is like uh something about a bike and he's like yes I, where is it where is it and is it okay <laughs> and she's like it's at and she looks out and she sees al and moe's the uh-huh. alamo and it's like basement bargain pricing or whatever in the basement <laughs> he's like okay so he's like we gotta go to texas so yep. he gets the thing is if you really pay attention to where he starts off and where he ends up. Uh huh. He didn't have to go anywhere because technically he's in California remember. at the beginning. Yeah, he is. And then he goes to Texas and then has to come back to California. <laughs> 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 but oh, anyway. that's right, that's right. I, I, I couldn't remember how we got back to the bike. 
But yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, so he goes, he makes this cute little Texas sign. I thought it was adorable. It's in the shape of Texas. Uh-huh. And I did read that where he has the star located, it's not where San Antonio is, but it's where the set that's used for the Alamo in movies and stuff oh, is. Okay. And I don't remember what the town's called, but uh, that was that was that's a nice little thing. That's it's a good joke, but I mean nobody's gonna get it <laughs> unless <laughs> unless you live now and you can look in the internet. But in 1985, I can't imagine anyone anyone got that joke. Yeah, so he's sitting there trying to get somebody to take him out to San Antonio. And Uh um, he waits a long time, or it's supposed to be a long time. I'm wondering if it was actually like, you know, he just got bored and it was like 20 minutes or something. Looking at him, he probably got bored. Would not be surprised. (laughs) (laughs) So a car pulls over and picks him up and he jumps in and it is Mickey and Mickey is an escaped convict. <laughs> uh-huh. Wearing the handcuffs. And I think Broken Mickey handcuffs. is so cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find Mickey attractive. <laughs> Does this mean I like escaped convicts? I don't know. <laughs> You've got a type, I guess. I don't know. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> um... <laughs> It kind of reminds me of Jimmy Smith. He does. He so, does remind me a lot of Jimmy Smith. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, now I'm embarrassed. So No, you shouldn't be embarrassed. So He's, um, he's a handsome man, I guess. Yes. So, <laughs> he asks him what he was in jail for, because he notices that he's got the uh, handcuffs uh-huh. on. And he says, sometimes I get so angry, I just... <laughs> He's like, I got, um, I took my knife and I, you know, that tag on your mattress that says, do not, <laughs> do not remove. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> he's like, I cut it off. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not what it did. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So, but of course, Pee Wee's going to think that that's, you know, the true story. Yeah. I'm really glad they change the wording on those tags because that was the joke for the longest time yeah (laughs) finally they changed that (laughs) because i mean that's ridiculous it's so dumb (laughs) man i I hate to break this to you but you don't have a chance with mickey because he's so infatuated with peewee as a woman right as is the cop my god okay so (laughs) that was so weird so they see a um they see some cops in, you know, up ahead, and uh-huh. they're going to have to be stopped. So, uh, Mickey is like, we're just going to, like, plow through these people. <laughs> yeah, he gets his gun out. He's going to just start blasting. He's just going to start blasting. Guns a blazing, just drive through. But, uh, <laughs> but Pee Wee's like, no, no, I have an idea. So, they have this quick costume change. Um, Pee Wee decked out in this blue dress thing where did he get this and the wig i don't know i don't know yeah and the facial hair for mickey yes so mickey's only only disguises facial hair and glasses (laughs) 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 this is a real like clark kent situation here yeah um so they get stopped by the police the police show a picture of mickey you know we're looking for this escaped convict and Uh Pee Wee says i've seen better heads on boils yeah (laughs) what is that (laughs) oh my gosh so anyway nope they haven't seen him and then the cop's like okay well i'm gonna need you to step out and so Pee Wee's like Oh, what? Why do I need to step out? And so he gets out, though, and he's like, because I just want to see that cute little outfit. And I'm like, ew! So creepy! Ew. Ew. God, it was so creepy! <laughs> and he did a little twirl for him, and it's like, ugh! Ugh. <laughs> and then, of course, he's just, like, giggling and everything, and it's like, yeah. no! Just get back in the car, Pee-wee, and get out of there, please! <laughs> yes. <laughs> but so then, weird. of course... They do finally get to leave, and you, as they're driving away, you see Mickey look over at Pee Wee dressed in drag, and he's just uh-huh. like, okay. Yeah, he's all about he it. He is for it, and <laughs> I am frightened for Pee Wee. <laughs> and then it cuts to Pee Wee um, out of the dress and everything. I'm just yes. not sure what happened in between there, but, you know. No. It is what it is. <laughs> and when you and when you say it cuts to Pee-wee out of the dress, you mean you don't mean he's just naked. He's got his regular clothes on. <laughs> I just... mean, 
That's pretty much naked for Pee Wee, <laughs> isn't it? He's, He's always in, in that suit. Yeah, yes. There's dozens of us. <laughs> Literally. Dozens of us. <laughs> so Pee Wee is driving though at this point. He's driving the car. Uh-huh. Uh, Mickey is trying to get some sleep. It's dark. Um, there are these signs for <laughs> the curves in the road that are just yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which made me laugh a lot because it's just like they just keep getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> and <laughs> Pee Wee drives off a cliff. <laughs> uh huh. And they're like falling. Mickey's still asleep. Pee Wee's yep. screaming. He looks over. He wakes up Mickey. Mickey starts screaming. And then finally mm-hmm. he <laughs> gets the um the hood because it was the convertible top. Yeah, the convertible top because yep. it was a convertible. And that you works as like a parachute yeah which not realistic but funny. <laughs> yeah definitely not <laughs> but it, it, it's a peewee movie exactly so they hit the ground or they fall gently to the ground and mm-hmm. mickey's like get out <laughs> get out of my car <laughs> leaves him in fair. the middle of nowhere and this is where he gets picked up well first this is where the headlight glasses come in oh yeah because it's just a black screen and all you can see uh-huh. are white white cartoon eyes. eyes cartoon eyes and i thought i think this is really funny because <laughs> you can tell like <laughs> he's talking and everything and he's hearing things but like the way the animation is for the eyes it fits so perfectly with what he's saying yeah <laughs> and so finally he looks for his glasses he puts them on <laughs> his headlight glasses and all around him are like cougars <laughs> yeah like, actual cougars and there was like a raccoon in the back i can't remember what all was there but yeah he freaks, I think he there was like wolves and stuff yeah probably yeah so he screams and then you hear a horn and headlights are coming his way and it's a big semi truck yeah so he jumps in there uh-huh and this and there's large march. Is large march and large march <laughs> Was the scariest thing I had ever seen when I was little. <laughs> yeah, she was freaking. So she starts it's off and so she's... so random. It's like... Yeah. It's like, it's so short. It's mm-hmm. so random. It's like, all right, Tim it Burton. Is, exactly. It is like one... It's such a short scene, but it's just so memorable. So yeah. she's she starts talking because he's like... You know, she's just, like, looking straight ahead. And she starts talking. And she's like, on this very night, ten years ago. (laughs) (laughs) She doesn't blink the entire time. The entire time. And she's telling the story of, like, it was a foggy night. And uh, she came upon the worst wreck she'd ever seen in her entire life. Uh And the truck was mangled. And Uh when they pulled the body from the wreck, it looked like this. And she turns to him and, of course, does the weird large Marge face, uh-huh. which yep. freaked me out as a kid. Yep. Freaks Pee-wee out, which I I can understand why. Yeah. And so then the, she just keeps going on like normal. Yep. I and mean, normal for her. Yeah, for her. <laughs> exactly. Still not blinking. Just looking straight ahead. Yeah. So he's like, uh, this is my stop up, up here. So she lets him out and tells him to um, let them know that Large Marge sent him. And mm-hmm. then she drives off and he gets in there. And it's the wheel in. And he gets inside the wheel in. And he's talking to the people. And he's like, Large Marge sent me. And they're all freaking out because Large Marge died. So it was yeah, the ghost like of Large ten years Marge. Ago. <laughs> ten years ago on a night like this. <laughs> on this very day or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then not much happens over. They just sit there and kind of goes, they're all looking at him weird, but. Yeah. So uh, then yeah. he meets Simone. Simone is a waitress. Mm-hmm. And he realizes that he has lost his wallet. So he has mm-hmm. to clean dishes to pay for his tuna platter and milkshake. Who yeah. yum, orders yum. that? <laughs> I don't know. I love tuna and I like milkshakes, but I don't think those two go together. Yeah, together that's pretty gross. That is gross, exactly. So he has to, you know, wash the dishes to pay for his meal. And Simone talks, oh, Simone, before he leaves, 
she asks him to go out and watch the sunset. Mm-hmm. Not sunset, the sunrise with him. Sunrise, so, yeah. Yeah. So In the dinosaur. Does. In the dinosaurs. I have, ever since watching this movie, I've wanted to go to those dinosaurs. Are they Are they real? They are real. They are in Cabazon, California. Oh, they're in California. It takes mm-hmm. forever to get out of California. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. The the other states are real fast until he gets to Texas. Yeah. It, he basically so. goes from he basically goes from this place to Texas. To Texas. <laughs> yeah. It's true. There's no in between. Yeah. He misses a lot, but he also doesn't miss much. It's it's true. <laughs> <laughs> i mean if we're being honest here <laughs> yeah it, so it is true. <laughs> so yeah they they go up they talk uh they talk inside the dinosaurs they're watching the sunrise and simone is talking about her dream of going to paris and mm-hmm. he, she asks if um if peewee has any dreams and he starts trying to tell her about some dream that he the had. actual dream yes. <laughs> and she's like no no like a a dream you know a different a different kind of dream so yeah anyway but she and says it's overheard that, by andy yeah she's ta- she talks about andy her boyfriend and andy doesn't andy failed french in high school so he doesn't want anything <laughs> to do with paris he thinks they're just out to make him look stupid <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of which- funny Honestly, sounds like some some reason, you know, an actual reason that somebody would hate Paris. <laughs> or I, something that people in Paris would actually do. <laughs> yeah, I, I've probably known Let people them that, that would be pissed off about it because they've flunked. Yeah. As they're leaving, they've watched the sunrise. As they're leaving, Andy sees them. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he had actually heard them inside the dinosaur talking. Yeah. And they said some things he misunderstood. Yeah, they said some things that guess. could have been taken a different way. <laughs> yeah. But, like, everything surrounding it obviously explained what it was. But yeah, uh, but I'm know. guessing he just picked and chose what he wanted to listen to. Yeah, probably. So, as soon as as soon as they come out, Andy tries to attack Pee-wee, and Pee-wee runs away. Mm-hmm. And he jumps onto a train. Oh, that's right. He gets on the train. <laughs> and he gets on the train, and he falls asleep, and he has a dream that a dinosaur is eating his bike. Uh huh. And then is that what the clowns come in? No, the clowns come oh. in later. <laughs> <laughs> too many, too many dreams. <laughs> too many dreams. Exactly. So he wakes up and he meets Jack, who is a hobo. Yeah, the hobo. Mm-hmm. Offering up sardines. Which Offering is gross. up sardines. It was disgusting. <laughs> so they start talk or they start singing together. Basically, they're getting along fine, and then. I guess Jack sings one too many songs because he's yeah that was Jimmy weird. Corn and Pee Wee's like I'm not having any more of this. I'm tired it's of like, it. And nobody's more country. annoying than me. I'm not sitting here for this. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, Pee Wee. So he jumps off the train and guess where he is? He's in San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very lucky. How nice. He probably passed by my hometown going there, but you know, <laughs> I wish they would have made that a thing. But that's okay. <laughs> San Antonio, and uh, I did like the Texas stuff in here, like okay. when he makes the phone call, uh-huh. and I don't know, they want him to prove he's in Texas or something? I can't yes, remember. Yes, Dottie wants to prove that he's in Texas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he just does the stars are, stars at night are big and bright, and everybody sings deep in the heart of Texas, which uh-huh. we are all actually obligated to do when everyone does that, uh, so <laughs> that's legitimate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that was that was a good one um then uh, where does he go after that he goes to the alamo of course and he takes the tour oh right okay and the tour guide is jan hooks mm-hmm. but her name is tina in the movie mm-hmm. and she's talking about um all the people and at one point she's talking about like tortillas and <laughs> um oh, i can't remember the names that she gives the the little models. People, I think it's like Pedro and Inez. Yeah, it sounds right. And there's somebody else, I think. And um, she tries to get them to say like different things. She's like, Buenos dias. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently she improvised all that, which is very impressive. It was really good. She improvised a whole tour. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good. It was so great. So then she gets outside and with the tour, and she's like, y'all have been the best tour that I've ever <laughs> been privileged to do, which, you know, of course, people say that to every tour that they give. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
She's like, okay, are there any questions? And of course, Pee Wee raises his hand and he says, when do we get to see the basement? And she's like, the basement? He's like, yeah, the basement. She's like, there's no basement in the Alamo. (laughs) Yeah. And then everybody laughs at him and he freaks out and he runs away. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> have you ever been to the ones. Alamo? I have never been to the Alamo. Have you? A couple times. Um, okay. And the first time I went, I was in like junior high and I went by myself. And like, I, I, I really liked the story of the Alamo. It was one of my favorite like historical things. Mm-hmm. And so when I went, it you know, I had this like picture of the Alamo. And then when you get there, it is so small. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is tiny compared to like what i was thinking so yeah i it's real pretty in there and like the the lands it's on and stuff Mm -hmm. very nice but yeah just the front of it's just like wow okay well that's Mm -hmm. weird it's just surrounded by downtown san antonio basically yeah and it's just not very pretty and like crazy evangelical into the world preachers (laughs) on the (laughs) sidewalk outside of it like okay (laughs) well (laughs) this is the alamo i guess but uh, it it's it's cool, but it's just really different from what I expected for yeah. sure. Nope, I've never been. I've only been to a few places in Texas. Yeah, and that is not one of them. It, it uh, it's a good place to day. go. Yeah, the Riverwalk and the Alamo is cool to see. Yeah, I've heard the Riverwalk is really cool. I know that's yeah. where they do like Pack South is in San Antonio. Oh, okay, so yeah. I've always kind of wanted to go to Pack South just so that I could go to San Antonio. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe we'll have to go by there one day. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so um, while he's there in San Antonio, he is uh, he calls Dottie, of course, because he wants her to get him a bus ticket. Uh huh. And he sees that's when, of course, they do the deep in the heart of Texas. He yeah. Sees Simone. Simone is there, and she has decided she's going to Paris, so she's yep. waiting for her bus. And she says au revoir, Pee Wee, and he she leaves. Mm-hmm. But then Andy is there. <laughs> Andy shows up, yep. <laughs> and Andy chases him all the way to a Day of the Dead parade. I don't remember that. There was a Day of the Dead parade. and Because okay. I was like, okay, well, I guess we know when this is set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I mean, it's he... Tim Burton. You are, you can just assume. <laughs> True. <laughs> that <time. laughs> That's a very Tim Burton thing. <laughs> um, so Pee Wee escapes. He goes into a trailer where he puts on a bull riding <laughs> costume. <laughs> yeah. Just and he gets ridiculous. put into the ring on a bull and he's, you know, he's lasting pretty pretty well. Uh-huh. I mean, they're like, he's going for a world record, you know, and yep. then he gets bucked off. He gets bucked. And um Andy sees him. Mm-hmm. And because he's looking for him in the crowd and he can't find him. So he sees yep. him out there and he jumps in and he's wearing a red shirt. Pee Wee's yep. also wearing a red shirt, but the bull goes after Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because whatever. For reasons. <sighs> yeah, it's weird. So, um, <laughs> so next Pee Wee ends up at a biker bar. I don't well, remember how he got didn't- there. Didn't they like when after he got bucked off, they like drug him off and he couldn't, he was kind of dazed. Anything. Yeah, and they were That's like, right. What do you remember? He's like, I remember, I remember the Alamo, and they're like, Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I really like that one. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> that made that me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then he does go to the biker bar. Yeah, so he goes to the biker bar because he sees that they have a telephone inside. And he's like, okay, I'm going to go use the telephone. And he gets mm-hmm. in there. It's real loud. And, mm-hmm. of course, he shushes them. He's like, shh, I'm trying to use the phone. <laughs> and they get pissed off about it. Yes. And they're like, you've got to get out of here. So he's like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll leave, you know. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> and so he walks out. He, like, sashays out. Not just walks. I mean, he, yeah. like, sashays out. And when he's sashaying, he hits one of the bikes and it knocks over <laughs> all the bikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. freaking dominoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they come out and they're pissed. Yep. So they bring him back Drag into him the back bar. Drag him back in there. And they're like, we're going to kill him. And then we're going <laughs> to, uh, you know, we're going to hang him. And then we're going to kill him. We're going to do this. And then we're going to hang him. And then we're going to kill him. And then mm-hmm. this one woman comes up and she's like, but first, you're going to give him to me. And that is Elvira. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes, that is Cassandra Peterson, who played Elvar, <laughs> <laughs> Mistress of the Dark. Nice. So, oh, and they're called the Satan's Helpers, by the way. Oh, Not okay. Satan's Helpers. Uh, well, so. one of my favorite 
parts mm-hmm. of this movie that I've quoted in the past is when they're all like, let's hang him, let's mm-hmm. let's cut him, let's do all this. I say we let him go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've yeah. used that plenty. <laughs> that was, that that's is good. a good one. I forgot about that too. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's just so like right out of the side of his mouth. <laughs> I say we let him go. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a good joke. I'm pretty sure that's when she's like, I say you give him to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, he's like, well, before you kill me, you know, l- let me <laughs> let me perform this dance for you, basically. Yeah. So he gets platform shoes from the guy who's like sweeping the bar. And that guy, <laughs> when he took those <laughs> shoes off, did you see how yeah. far he went down? Yeah, oh he was gosh. super tall. And then he lost the platforms. And now he's real short. Yeah, those platforms were not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> So he puts on the platform shoes. He gets tequila going on the jukebox and he starts mm-hmm. dancing. And yep. uh, my brother and I used to do this dance. Yeah, it's a very memorable it's a moment. very memorable. It's a very fun dance. I <laughs> feel like I should try it again because there's it a should. lot of like arm waving stuff. It looks real fun. A lot of pointing um, between there's a lot of behind pointing. you and front. There's a, lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of pointing. It's mostly pointing. Yep. Um, so then he jumps. Tiptoes. He's like on a table at first, but then he jumps up, up on the bar and he starts like throwing <laughs> beer bottles on the ground and they're just like, yeah. They like that. He's so cool. Because he says he's break dancing. <laughs> oh, so he's breaking stuff. <laughs> yes. Okay. I missed that part. <laughs> oh, gosh. So after his little dance, they just love him and yeah. they're like, all right, here, we're going to give you one of our bikes. Uh, good luck finding your own bike, you know. And so he's like, all right, thanks, guys. And he starts up the bike and he <laughs> runs off and he that immediately was, yeah. wrecks crashes through it. the side. <laughs> yeah. Immediately wrecks it. And then he, he goes has to be to taken the to the hospital. Yeah. So he's taken to the hospital. Yeah. And while he's at the hospital, that's where he has the clown nightmare. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where the clowns are doing surgery on the bike. Mm-hmm. And at one point, they. <laughs> <laughs> they like uh, pick up the bike. The bike goes to hell where Francis is the devil. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. It's, it's real weird. All makes sense. <laughs> and then he wakes up from his nightmare and he sees his bike on television. They're giving it to Kevin Morton, some child star. And he's yeah. like, I've got to go get my bike back. So yep. he ends up at Warner Brothers Studio because we can't yeah. get away from Warner Brothers. Apparently. We can. And I, I noted that. Because he gets the bike eventually, mm-hmm. like, he dresses up in an, as a nun, yes. gets the bike, rides off, security chases him. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, like, uh, if this was today, it would be exactly like Space Jam. Yes. Where he rides through all the movies they have. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, he did ride through Godzilla and, like, Tarzan. Yeah, he, I have I have written down what he wrote through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a Twisted Sister music video yes. for whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this was, like, early Space Jam right here. But it wasn't quite as annoying. Oh, definitely not. Definitely yeah. not. But <laughs> they they probably looked at this and were like, let's make this a hundred times worse. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, like you said, he dresses in, as a nun, so there he is, cross-dressing again. Of course. Steals the bike. Um, security's after him. At one point, he pulls, like, a backdrop out so that the security runs through the backdrop, which was very Looney Tunes. It was very, mm-hmm. um, let's paint the t- uh, the train tunnel on the rock kind of thing. Yep. Um, so, these are the things he goes through. There's, like, a beach party movie. Uh-huh. And then he goes to a Christmas movie that's set at the North Pole, because there's Santa and everything there. Right. Uh, Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> the Twisted Sister music video. <laughs> Yeah, which is weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tarzan. And at that point, he... some he Oh, he does some little boost thing after the Tarzan uh-huh. part. He, some boost on his bicycle, and he flies over a fence, and he's out of the back lot. And some little kid sees him and is like, radical! <laughs> which I thought was really cute, because I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yes, that would have been something you would say. <laughs> So he finally he is he's got his bike he's away from everything, uh, but then he sees there's a pet shop on fire. Yeah, so uh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> All right, 
just so many weird things happening. Yeah. So he goes in because he's got to save all the animals. He can't just let them, you know, burn. Mm hmm. So he f- sets, first thing he sets free is a chimp, and he's like, you can help me. So they get all the dogs <laughs> out, all the cats out, um, uh, the birds. I can't remember what all there was. There was all um, kinds of birds. There was all kinds of stuff. And then, oh, like ducks. Uh, he mm-hmm. gets the fish, as many of the fish as he can get. And every time he goes in yeah. there, he walks by the snakes. And he's like, I'm going to have to <laughs> get, get these snakes eventually. Yeah. He's just not looking forward to it, you can tell. But mm-hmm. finally, he goes in there. He gets the snakes. He runs out. And he's like, ah! <laughs> he's all on the ground. <laughs> snakes everywhere. Um the paramedic or not paramedics the uh, fire fire truck gets there firemen come up uh and the police because um they're like you're a hero and they're like you're in he's, trouble <laughs> yeah he's a criminal and a paul criminal. rubens actually does have a fear of snakes so oh, does he yeah so that was kind of legitimate <laughs> oh no. no i feel bad that he had to hold all of them oh. well he, he did it for he did it for tim he said he trusted uh yeah but, Tim, so he was like, I'll do it. So, well, I'm sure they were, you know, yeah, probably safe snakes. Yeah, they were pretty (laughs) safe. I'm sure they were all the same kind. So, here's some cobras. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, yeah, I used to be really afraid of snakes. And then, um, for like, I used to go to day camp for Mm -hmm. uh, Girl Scouts. Yeah. Like one week out of the summer. And while we were there, like one of the last days, they had somebody there that had a snake that you could go up and touch. And I went up and touched it. And everybody mm-hmm. was like, oh, my gosh, you're so brave. So I got some <laughs> kind of bravery award. And I was just like, okay, but it, it wasn't like a really scary snake. So, <laughs> But whatever. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't say I'm afraid of snakes, but I don't mess with snakes. Because yeah. I'm not going to. Uh, uh, snakes are dangerous a lot of them are yeah uh, but the ones that aren't are cool but i ain't ain't gonna mess with them yeah i think that's more of what it is i'm not really afraid of them but it's like yeah i'm not i'm you do your thing over (laughs) there i'm gonna do my thing over here yeah if i see a rattlesnake i'm i'm getting out of there (laughs) i'm like no thanks bye (laughs) oh geez all right so he's he's in trouble um they show like the footage from the godzilla thing that he ruined but then mm-hmm. they're like, but I like your story, so we're going to make a movie out of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the movie is nothing. Yeah, it's like a James <laughs> Bond movie. It, yeah, it looks like some kind of spy movie. Um, with James Brolin. Exactly, with James Brolin Morgan and Fairchild. Morgan Fairchild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, and Pee-wee, of course, does have a role in it, but it's not his mm-hmm. voice. But he's right. like <laughs> the bellboy or whatever at the hotel. And yeah. so he gets to say um <laughs> paging mr herman mr herman you have a telephone pw oh. herman <laughs> oh man yeah pw anyway it shows them at the movie premiere they have their movie premiere at a drive-in so we uh-huh. get to see all of the people that we saw before yep he takes them all snacks mm-hmm. so we get to see you know simone and her new guy and she mm-hmm. brings them french fries of course of course. And you get to see, like, the hobo and his friends, his little hobo friends. <laughs> I feel really bad saying hobo, I know. Little hobo friends. <laughs> little hobo friends. Um, <laughs> and Mickey, of course, is there in a jail bus, and he tries to slip a file in with his foot long hot, mm-hmm. hot dog, uh, but they catch it. Yeah. And, and he still takes the hot dog, which, I mean, would be pretty gross yeah, at this point. <laughs> so, I don't know why... We continue that, but hey. Oh, um, he, the producer or whatever that, or the head of Warner Brothers is there, and he gives him like the chili dog, and he says yeah. something. He's like baby or something. Calls him babe, yeah. <laughs> babe, that's it. And he's lost. <laughs> yeah. He's like babe. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else do they see? There's probably more people. Um, the Maybe not. like bike kids. Oh yeah, the bike kids. That's it. Yeah. And Maybe that's it. Uh, Chuck is there. Chuck probably, from but... Chuck's Bikerama. And yeah. then of course he shows. Uh, he uh, ends up at. Um, Dottie. Dottie has a bike, and his bike is right next to it. She mm-hmm. has one of the... Uh, Speck is there, and of course she has 
the little pink dog. <laughs> there was a little pink dog at the pet shop. Oh, I forgot. It. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, That's the one, like, the monkey was leading out on a leash and stuff? Yes. Yeah, yes. that was pretty cute. <laughs> so uh, she has a little pink dog. She's adopted it, I guess. And, um, uh -huh. of course, Francis shows up. And Francis is like, yeah, I'm the whole reason that all of this happens. So without... Without me, he would never have had this movie. And he's been being interviewed by all these reporters and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, can I sit on the bike, Pee Wee? Just this once, you know. And Pee Wee's yeah. like, I don't want to let him get on this bike. But sure, I'll let him. So he gets on there. And he presses a button. And it ejects him, of course. Yeah. with It was, yeah. Shoots him really far. Like, he's it probably does. dead. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> or very injured. Yeah, so. and uh, one of the reporters is Phil Hartman. Mm-hmm, yeah. And I was in love with Phil him. Hartman when I was little. <laughs> He's great. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, he was, he was one of my favorite, like, comedy people. Yep. He was so good. He was. So, um, yeah, so... Oh, and then at the... Oh, I forgot to say. When he's, uh, when he's talking to Simone, she's like, Merci beaucoup, Pee-wee, and he's like... Mercy blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, that always gets me. But yeah, yeah so uh, he and Dottie, Dottie, he's like, uh, let's let's get out of here, you know. And Dottie's like, but we we have to watch the end of the movie. He's like, I don't have to watch it. I lived it. <laughs> yeah, he's back to being an asshole. <laughs> of course he is. And so then <sighs> they bike off together, and that's the end. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 it. <laughs> I just went over that whole freaking movie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's all right. That's all it was right. So, but I mean, it's full of so many like little bits, like little scenes. Yeah. That yeah. it's kind of hard to not talk about like most of them. It's kind of like just a bunch of connected sketches. Yeah. So, yeah. And some of them are really funny and some of them are not quite as funny. But <laughs> yeah. I, and like I said, like probably around... When pretty much when he gets to Texas is when I started liking it. Okay. Which I don't think it has anything to do with being from Texas, but you know, <laughs> I thought I thought there were a lot of good jokes in that section, mm -hmm. especially like going from, I mean, kind of like after Large Marge, and then remember the Alamo stuff and the rodeo and everything it was it was good. That part I really liked, but the first part I could have done without. <laughs> so does this mean that we're not going to be watching Pee Wee's at uh, Big Top Pee Wee and Pee Wee's Big <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never seen them, so I I'll, I'll watch them. I can tell you right now, Big Top Pee Wee. Um, I've I've seen it mm -hmm. because I saw it when I was little. I remember one thing about it: there, he is not dating Dottie in it, which uh -huh. is sad because I love Dottie. Right. Um. So she's not in it. He's dating some like school teacher, and uh -huh. they go out into a field to have a picnic. Uh -huh. I, I know what you're gonna say. And he has his head laying on her lap, and she's eating an egg salad sandwich, and it. <laughs> so the egg oh, salad maybe I don't know what you're gonna down, say. <laughs> flops right onto his face, and that's the only scene I remember of that movie. Well, uh, gross. <laughs> And the thing is, I like egg salad, and that makes me not yeah, like egg salad. <laughs> I, like, I like egg salad sandwiches, too. Where did you think I was going with it? Well, I think I think maybe in Harry, when he's with her, like they, he does the take a picture, it'll last longer. Oh, probably. Thing. He did that in this movie, but I also think it was in that movie, too. I could be wrong. <laughs> probably. And but, I yeah. don't remember much about Pee-wee's Big Holiday, either, but I do know... Um, do you remember... <laughs> Do you remember that time that you were like, should I stop and see the thing? Oh, the yeah. Yeah. Thing out in the uh, middle of the desert? On the drive to yeah. Arizona. Yeah. There's something similar in that movie where he stops and goes in to see it. Uh-huh. And something, whatever it is, like, pops up and f scares him. And he has the highest pitched scream. <laughs> and it goes on for so long. <laughs> uh, it was really funny. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, all boy. right well do you have any other notes about the movie we need to cover um those are all the notes that i have but i have to say that i did really like um i do really like the film score oh yeah danny elfman, danny elfman. always always brings quality scores yep and 
this may have been the first time that they worked together. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, Tim Burton and Danny Elfman. Right. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty They've sure that's because like they together for a while. Him and Paul, I think one of them had gone to see Oingo Boingo. Mm-hmm. Like Which, him, so, yeah. supposedly, I really liked Oingo Boingo when I was like four. <laughs> they have some fun songs. The only I one I really know, well, Weird Science and then Dead yeah. Man's Party. Those are the yeah. ones I know. Yeah. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Danny Elfman's made some good music. Yeah, and some of the scores. music, it was like inspired by other stuff like there was some uh one of the song one of the songs that he did in it sounded kind of like music from psycho and then um Uh, when they were doing the bike chase through the back lot it sounded uh a lot like um when the witch is on uh wizard of oz oh yeah that one yeah it had very (laughs) similar sounds so yeah he took some inspiration from other other soundtracks nice well good job dan (laughs) <laughs> you did great <laughs> all right well do we want to get into our snack that was meant to be for the back to the future <laughs> <laughs> sure i mean i don't really have much to say about it but okay <laughs> it's produced in 1985 apparently mm-hmm. for the first time is sour patch kids well technically it was it was produced before then because it was a canadian Thing. Oh right! It was produced in Canada first. I think it started in like maybe the late seventies or something. But they were called Mars Men when they were in Canada, and yeah. so then they decided they were going to distribute it in USA in 1985. Starting then, and they decided to give it a name change, so they changed it to Sour Patch Kids. Do you like sour candy? Uh, this? it's all right. Yeah, as I've gotten older, I've like I I like sour candy a whole lot more. I think. And see, I used to I, always like sour punch straws, but yeah, I'm not sure if I ever really had sour patch kids, honestly. Oh, really? Okay. Um, because I I think the reason I haven't really eaten them is because of the commercials, because they annoy me. Yeah, they're annoying commercials. I don't like those commercials. Yeah. So I've never really had any, you know, desire to have sour patch kids. Yeah. But I have almost eaten that entire bag, so... Um, <laughs> so, you might like them. Just don't watch TV yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah. As long as I don't see the commercials, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got two different kinds. Oh, I got, okay. I got tropical and the regular. I saw um, online, I saw that they had a tropical version, but I didn't get them. I would yeah. have, but I didn't see them. The tropical's fine. It, okay. You know, it's like pineapple and let's look at it. I can't remember. Exactly Probably fruit punch. It. Passion fruit, uh, tropical Mango? twist, pineapple, and paradise punch. Oh, okay. So mm, they're, paradise punch they're is about, fruit punch. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty much what you think of when you think of like tropical flavored candy. Mm-hmm. They're not doing anything revolutionary here. Okay, well, I usually like tropical flavored kind of candy because I really like the tropical Starburst. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, you'll probably so like. So I those. would probably like them for the normal kind. I, I like the normal kind better. I think. Okay. Did yours have a mystery flavor in it? It did not. Oh well, that's a bummer. But I saw that they that they were doing a mystery flavor because I looked on. Yeah. I was like looking on their website and everything, making sure that <laughs> dates matched up and all that kind of stuff. I did a lot of research for this. Okay. <laughs> you have someone with a library degree <laughs> working on this podcast with you. So I'm going to do mm-hmm. some research. Yeah. I, it's, if I had to guess, I feel like I'm getting some kind of like banana flavor off of it. Okay. So maybe it's something like that or something involving bananas. Okay, well, there uh, is, they have good. a website where you can um, put your guess in. Yeah, I'm not going to so, do that. Oh, you could win like <laughs> 50 grand or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay. I'm going to well, probably forget. <laughs> I guess you won't be winning money and sharing it with me, so. Yeah. Thanks for uh, that. <laughs> I know I know who I am. <laughs> I can tell you that I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. 
How about oh, since honest. you said it tastes like banana, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna. You feel free. Banana. Go go put it in there. <laughs> I wish that mine had the mystery flavor because I wanted yeah. to try it. I don't. I don't. I, I don't think it's just straight up banana. Mm-hmm. It's probably like mixed up to something else, but I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm getting off of it. Yeah, I might look around and see if I can find any that have the mystery flavor. Yeah, see what you think. Just go, just so I can see what it is. But, yeah, um, yeah. So My- I, I like them. Uh huh. Um, I like that. There's not too much sour to them because sometimes really? you'll get something that's really, really sour, and I don't mm-hmm. like that. I li- I want more sour off of them. And see, I don't. So I really do. That's why I, I, I think that's why I liked them so much. I don't want them to be excessively sour, but I think they could do a little more sour. Because, like, uh, what is it? Warheads. Yeah, it doesn't need to be warhead sour. Yeah, that's way too sour. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like warheads also, but yeah, I can, I can. I wouldn't eat a ton of warheads at a time or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I don't like sour so much that it feels like a wolverine has, like, <laughs> ripped my tongue to shreds, <laughs> which is what it feels like when it's too sour. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no. I, I, like the, I like the flavor of the regular ones. Okay. They're now, um, the one I had, of course, did have blue raspberry. Blue raspberry, yep. Yeah. <laughs> blue raspberry is a relatively new flavor. I mean, compared to the other flavors. Yeah. They've always had the others. Um, but, yeah. Did you love it? I'm not going to say I loved it, but you it was loved fine. it. <laughs> I like the cherry and I like the lemon. But yeah. the blue raspberry was actually probably my third favorite because I okay. liked it better than the orange and the lime. Yeah. Well. So it wasn't too terrible. terrible. That's good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> so what rating would you give them out of our one to ten scale? One, of okay. course, being we have to break up. Mm-hmm. Ten is we would like to have them in the house all the time. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them a seven. That's what I'm giving them as well. I would have given nice. them higher if they were a little more sour, but I do really like the flavor of Sour Patch Kids. Nice. Yeah, they yeah. were good. I enjoyed they them. Are. I'm gonna have to like force myself not to get more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's gotta get that mystery that I'll, flavor. Like, occasionally treat myself with, and yeah. I really liked. Like I was, I was eating them as I was watching the movie, so they're very mm-hmm. good movie snack yeah yeah they are very good for movie sure. snack. so um they might be my go-to movie snack from now on although yeah. i really like peach gummies mm-hmm. i like gummies when i watch movies yeah that's my go-to snack is some kind of gummies so yeah, yeah they might be my new my new one. work them in there they're pretty nice. good they're pretty good. Yeah, They're I don't get them good. too often either. <laughs> They're not like peach gummies, though. They're peach gummies are higher on my on my ranking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but still, that's good. All right, that will do it for this week. If you would like to share your guesses of the mystery flavor with us, so we can try and win fifty thousand dollars off your guess. Yes, if you want to tell us what you think the mystery flavor is so that we can be the ones that put it. <laughs> we'll mention you an episode if we win $50,000. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> we'll uh, give you a shout out. If you have any guesses yourself. <laughs> <laughs> our Twitter is Having Fun Cast. Yes. And our Facebook is Having Fun Pod. Facebook.com. And, mm-hmm. yeah. and our email is Having Fun Pod at gmail.com. Uh-huh. So let us know what you think. Say hello. 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 You can <laughs> hello say hello and hi if you really want to. I mean, hello. Hello, hello. You know. Hello. Glad to say hello. And we'd appreciate it. It's always nice to hear from you. But until then, we will. What's what? What's up? I was just laughing because you're like, it's always nice to hear from you. We've heard from no one. So. <laughs> I might have heard from some people. I don't oh. tell you about it. <gasps> what? You're keeping secrets? How dare you? <laughs> I'm not. I haven't heard from anybody. Okay. <laughs> but we want to. Please. Yeah. We would love it. <laughs> anyway, go out, have fun, and we will see you next week. Good bye. <laughs> bye. Live episode next week. Oh, yeah.